Ukraine says it is advancing near the eastern city of Bakhmut, which Russia captured in May in the war's longest and bloodiest battle. Ukraine says fighting has intensified on its eastern front as further details emerge about the number of Wagner troops who have been transferred to Belarus. Ukrainian troops had made progress along Bakhmut's southern flank and were attempting to hold positions along its northern flank. Ukrainian troops also engaged in an artillery attack on Russian troops in the town of Bakhmut, while also refraining from incoming shelling. Russian troops continued to take offensive actions towards Abdiivka and Marinka, but Ukrainian forces effectively held them off and made no change in position. Ukrainian forces are conducting aerial reconnaissance of the terrain, clearing mines in the area, engaging the enemy with fire strikes, and implementing counter-battery measures. The Russian troops put up stiff resistance, but Ukrainian assault units are consolidating their positions on the achieved limits. The Telegram channel Scarlet reported that fighters of the Legion of Freedom destroyed the enemy's 240mm self-propelled mortar tulip with Kamikaze drones, published a related video. The video was recorded by a control unmanned aerial vehicle. It appears that the crew of Tulip who heard that the drone was circling above them managed to escape to a safe distance before taking a direct hit. Another video shows 110th separate mechanized brigade of the Ukrainian armed forces named after Colonel General Mark Bezrutka shows a video of his frontline flight work in the occupied Vodiany and Opitny region between Abiyevka and liberated Donetsk on the Telegram channel, bore 110 OMBR. One of our team found the pilot team of the Katsep drone, who was caught and fled. With the help of VOG, they made a ventilation hatch on the Zhiglik, which was used to move the mortar. But it destroyed the shelter from which the mortar worked directly and caused damage him. After that, it won't harm us anymore. Ukraine says fighting has intensified on its eastern front as further details emerge about the number of Wagner troops who have been transferred to Belarus. The situation has improved somewhat in the east, said Ukraine's Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malier. He added that Ukrainian troops were on the defensive near the eastern city of Kupiansk, but were making advances near Bakhmut. For two days in a row, the enemy has been actively attacking in the Kupiansk sector of the Kharkiv region. We are on the defensive, Malier wrote on Telegram. Ukrainian troops are also advancing in the Mala Takmachka Nova Pokrovka and Velika Novosilka Urozhane directions on the southern front. General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces spokesman Andriy Kovalov reported on July 18. Ukrainian troops reinforced newly taken positions in the two sectors, the report said. Meanwhile, soldiers of the Ukrainian armed forces destroy the Russian invaders' very cool T-90M breakthrough tank with a barrage of ammunition, a deep modernization of the already modernized T-90 breakthrough. Its operators find fat targets, assisting Kamikaze FPV drone pilots to target and record direct hits and subsequent tank fire. Various sources are sounding the alarm about the fact that the invaders are dramatically increasing the production of their own Kamikaze drones. First of all, alas, the quite successful Lancets. We hope that preventive measures will be taken in Kyiv with the help of the Allies. In the last 18 hours, the Defense Forces missile and artillery units hit two heavy flamethrower systems from a TOS-1A Sans Sapak Salvo, an ammunition depot and an invader's radio electronic warfare station. At the same time, our aviation carried out five sorties on places of concentration of manpower, weapons, and military equipment of the Russian occupiers. Most Ukrainians approve of President Volodymyr Zelensky's handling of the ongoing war with Russia, data shows, with his popularity skyrocketing shortly after Moscow invaded the war-torn country last year. A year after full-scale conflict broke out in February 2022, 
58% of Ukrainians overwhelmingly approved of Zelensky's navigation of the war, according to data published by Statista. A further third of respondents somewhat approve of Zelensky's leadership, according to data for February 2023. The general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces reported on July 18 that Russia had lost 239,010 soldiers in Ukraine since the start of the full-scale invasion on February 24 last year. This number includes the 710 casualties suffered by Russian forces over the past few days. The buildup of Russian troops in the Kupiansk area of Ukraine's Kharkiv region is raising fears that Kyiv forces will have to draw reserves from nascent counteroffensives in the south and east of the country to blunt Russia's renewed push. Ukrainian commanders have warned that around 100,000 Russian personnel have amassed on the Lyman Kupiansk section of the front, supported by some 900 tanks and 370 multiple launch rocket systems. The enemy deployed airborne units, the best motorized infantry units there, Sergei Cherevedi, deputy commander for strategic communications of Ukraine's Eastern Military Group, said on Monday. As additional support, there are combat army reserves, territorial troops, Storm Z Company. In its Monday evening bulletin, the Institute for the Study of War stated that the threat posed by the new grouping was limited. Russian forces are most likely engaged in offensive operations in this area of the front in an attempt to exploit the Ukrainian operational focus in other sectors of the front and draw Ukrainian reserves away from critical areas of the theater, the think tank explained. The Ukrainian armed forces continue to liberate territory in the Tavri region, Zaporizhia region and the southern part of the Donetsk region. Despite landmines, enemy air work, our soldiers are advancing. Oleksandr Tarnavsky, commander of the Operational Strategic Forces Group Tavria, stated this in a recent summary published on his Telegram channel. In turn, the authoritative and meticulous compiler of the domestic front map Deep State noted the liberation of new territory in the westernmost part of the front in Zaporizhia, near Kamianskoye. 